some Jeff Koons inspired art. So you may be like, hmm, who is Jeff Koons, Miss Fortenberry? Well, I'm about to show you. I'm gonna show you some pictures uh, and I'm going to show you some art of his artwork and then you're gonna make your very own art inspired by his sculpture. So I have a really fun balloon dog drawing with a city, look at that fun city yummy city behind him um or you could draw a castle behind your balloon dog and we're going to use warm and cool colors all right so let's get started jeff coons is one of the most iconic contemporary artists uh, balloon dogs was part of his 1993 series called celebration and his orange 10 foot tall balloon dog sculpture was purchased for $58.4 million in 2013. This is the most expensive work ever sold at an auction by a living artist. So, so for this project, you need an 11 by 18 warm or cool color piece of construction paper, an eight by 11 piece of sulfite or watercolor paper. You need a piece of green construction paper, pencil and eraser, scissors, glue. You need a permanent black marker, uh, watercolor markers or washable markers, and you need a paintbrush and water. Now, before we get started on our art, we need to talk about warm and cool colors. You need to know what warm colors and cool colors are. So when I think of cool colors, I think of colors that are in grass, the cool grass or water or the sky. So blues, greens, purples, those are cool colors. And when I think of warm colors, I think of things that are warm, fire, the sun. So orange, red, yellow, pink, those are all warm colors. So if your background paper is a warm color, like red, orange, or yellow, or pink, then I want you to choose a cool color marker for this project. So keep that in mind as you choose your colors. The first thing we're going to do is draw buildings on our colorful piece of paper. So here's just some ideas of types of buildings you can draw. You can choose from a castle, city, a town. Um, here on my warm colored yellow paper, I am drawing a yummy, delicious city. We have the donut shop, a pizza shop. We even have an ice cream parlor just using squares and basic shapes, I can make some cute little buildings here. And I got a little fancy on that ice cream cone, didn't I? But make sure you add some interesting details. Uh, you can uh, different line designs, make it look interesting and um, fill up your page. So draw really, really big. Um, you notice I did not draw my buildings at the very bottom of my paper. I drew a horizon line because um, I want my buildings to be a little bit higher up on the paper. And then I'm going back and I'm adding thick outlines to all my pictures um, to really make my picture look good. So you wanna go back and do a thick line, do a double outline on your buildings and designs. You can even add clouds if you want. Um, we're keeping it pretty simple with just a black Sharpie. You can draw with pencil first and then outline with Sharpie uh, and you decide what kind of buildings you want. So I am just showing you a few different ideas here. Now we are ready to make our bushes. So get your green paper and just simply tear it along the edge. So I am making this one the entire length of my yellow paper. Just kind of trimming up a little bit. You don't want it to cover up too much of your buildings that you worked so hard on. So get it to the right size you want and then add some little curved lines just randomly all over. This is gonna give your bushes a little texture and then glue it down. So try to add glue near the edges but not directly on the edges and just a little bit goes a long way and press it down. Elmer's glue or glue stick works. 
Uh, on this one, I'm showing you that I did it differently. I made two large bushes. You decide how you want your bushes placed and how big they are. Our background paper is complete. Now we are ready to draw our balloon dog. So start in the middle of your paper and draw a large oval. This is gonna be the body of the dog. Now I'm going to draw the legs. Everything is oval. So an oval for the back leg, an oval for the front leg. And you can draw in pencil first. That way if you mess up, you can erase. And then just part of the other side of the legs because they're kind of overlapping, right? And then we have an oval for the neck, an oval for the head, and then this is the little tie, right? The little top of the balloon that we tie. And some smaller ovals for the ears. Now we need an oval for the tail. And then there's a little pointy part at the end of the balloon. Right there. And there's our balloon dog. And here's where you need to remember your warm and cool colors. I used a warm yellow colored paper to draw my buildings on so i'm going to use a cool color marker so i'm using my blue marker and i am just coloring in along one side of each oval almost about halfway through and i'm going along with the curve of my oval so color nice and heavy with your marker and do not do not do not color in the whole thing. You only want to color in a little under half of each oval. So color in each oval along the edges. I also colored a red one because I have a blue paper with a castle on it. So I'm going to glue that down also later. And so the next step, you just need water and a paintbrush. Brush your wet paintbrush over the marker and voila, you now have watercolor paint. And you're gonna finish coloring in the rest of your ovals with the watercolor you paint, with the watercolor paint you just created from your markers and your water. So just go over that. It's okay if you get a little out of the lines, not a big deal because we are going to cut this out once it's dry. And by doing this, this gives your doggy color value. It goes from dark to light, and it gives your dog form, making it look more round. So now we are just going to cut out your doggy very careful, very carefully so that you don't cut off any of the legs or the head. So you want it all one piece. And then you are going to glue it down to your background. One more thing I want to show you is if you have a white colored pencil or a white crayon, you can take it and you can make thick lines, just marks at the top of each oval. This is going to make your balloon dog look shiny. So you're just gonna color a nice smooth curved line at the top of each oval and this helps give it more form and color value. I hope you enjoyed this project. I can't wait to see all your beautiful art. So stay creative, have fun with this project, and don't forget to turn it in. All right, see you later. Bye.